Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing this fortune teller look. Very, very good for Halloween and really, really easy. Hello. So the first thing we're going to do is use the NARS Radiance Primer all over our face. I've already moisturised. Then we're going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation all over. You guys know that I love this stuff. It's really nice full coverage. Then we're going to go in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm going to just apply that under my eyes and in any centre areas that need a wee bit more coverage. Next we're going to be using the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Stick which we're going to use to contour with. I actually use this every single day so this makeup's perfect for every day until we get a little bit creepy. I'm going to blend that in with my foundation brush. Super, super easy but gives a really nice glow to the skin. Then I'm going straight in with MAC Dark Tan Bronzer. That's just going to mattify down the cream contour and make everything look a little bit more bronzed. Then I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder just to mattify my whole face. I think that this is really important for Halloween, especially you want your makeup to last ages. Then I'm going to go in with the MAC Contour Palette and we're going to just darken up the contour a wee bit. Obviously, I'm going to go in with Becca Opal to make my entire face very, very shiny. I am a firm believer that just because it's Halloween doesn't mean that you can't be bloody stunning. Time for eyeballs. We're going to go in with the Soft Matte Concealer again just to prep the eye area. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of the powder just to mattify that down. The palette I'm going to use today is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. And we're just going to go in with the lightest shade of purple first just to start getting that crease nice and purple. Then I'm going to go in underneath the eye with pure on point liner in the shade Rain. And we're going to drag that underneath the lash line as well and then I'm going to go in with a little smudger brush and the darkest shade in the palette and we're just going to buff that out. This makes things a little bit more dramatic and super super long lasting as well. I'm just going in with the purple shades and we're just building up that crease as normal following the crease and extending it up past the brow. I decided I wanted to add a black shadow so I went in with my Minimalist palette by LC Cosmetics and I just wanted to add the black on the outer corners. I was constantly mixing the black with the purple and then using the fluffier brush just to help blend that out as well. Then I started wanting to just kind of make everything a wee bit more dramatic so I just started mixing the darker shades in the palette and just going underneath the eye and in the crease as well. Constantly dipping back into the black as well just to make things a wee bit more dramatic. And then I started using my brush just to elongate the smoke out past the brow as well. It gives more of a kind of almond shaped eye. Going in with the middle shade in the palette, I'm spraying my brush with Fix Plus and applying that all over the lid just to get a really, really nice reflective lid and building that colour up. And then I started using my black shadow and dragging it underneath the eye, just underneath the pupil to start getting that kind of creepy, drawn out eye. And then I decided that I was going to add a little bit of liner just along the lash line for sticking our lashes down. Once I've done the liner, I just blend the black into the sides. That kind of, again, gives that elongated almond shaped eye. Then I decided to go in with the purple tones and go underneath the eye just to tie the top to the bottom. For mascara, I'm going to be using my NARS Climax Mascara, just a really nice thick coat on top and bottom lashes. I decided I wanted to add a little bit more black above the eye just to make things a wee bit more intense. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Sticks and Bones just on the lid and then I also carried that underneath the eye a little bit later. The glue I'm using here is the NYX Glitter Glue and the loose gold glitter I've got here is from Iconic and I just put that in my inner corner just to jazz things up a little bit. The lashes I'm using here are MILF by Lily Lashes. They're really, really lovely and wispy. I've actually wore these about 10 times already. Then I decided to drag the Urban Decay Glitter underneath the eye. It just adds a really nice reflect underneath the eye, makes things a wee bit more dramatic again. For brows, you'll see me here use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which I absolutely love. Then I used the Gimme Brow, and then actually later on in the tutorial, I went in with Benefit Cabrow just to darken the brows up a little bit more. 
I added a little black liner in the waterline just to darken things up again. Now we're gonna go on to lips. I'm gonna use the Milk Cosmetics Lip Liner in Santeria and the Maybelline Matte Ink in Escapist. This lip is perfect for this look, I think. Just a really, really nice dark purple. It went with the eyes and with my little headscarf I'm gonna use later. It's also super, super long wearing as well. To make this look a little bit more in theme, I changed into an off the shoulder white top that I had. I, don't, I can't even remember where this is from. And then I also took my hair down and I bought all these things from Amazon. So first thing you'll see here is a scarf and it's just a purple pattern scarf. I flipped it over my head and then tied in a knot. I'm not gonna lie, it felt a little bit like a pirate here, but it came together slightly. <laughs> I also got this nifty little chain, it's a fake septum piercing and if you've got your ears pierced you just put the earring in and then put the fake septum in and it gives that nice nose chain. And then I had this kind of headband chain as well which I just put over the scarf. This is a cool little bracelet I got and it's just got these cool little coins on it. And then all you need is a crystal ball and that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Bye! No fear, it's no strength attached, baby. Oh, it's dirty. It's so good I wanted that. It's so good I wanted that. It's so good I wanted that. No fear, it's no strength. All my life I've been waiting for you to bring a fairy tale my way. Now we're gonna bury it. <laughs> oh my god, they don't even fit. Don't buy bracelets on Amazon. That's terrible. <laughs>